What's up, you got your pal, the Boston Trucker. Today, we're gonna do a quick truck wash. I'm gonna show you something that might blow your mind. I guarantee most of you have never even heard of this. I wanna give credit where credit's due. My buddy, Freddie Chrome, gave me a tip one day on how to polish your truck while washing your truck. I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. So stay tuned, won't you? Let's do this. All right, now that the truck is washed and the truck's still wet, what you're gonna need is a bucket of soapy water, bucket of clean water, a couple microfiber towels. I like to use a sponge and a good aluminum polish. This is Renegade aluminum polish, just in a dummy bottle. Make sure you give it a good shake, by the way. All right. You're going to dip your sponge into the soapy water. I'm gonna put the camera down, see if I can do this. All right, I'm gonna take my sponge, as so, put it in the soapy water, right? Give it a little squeeze. I'm gonna take my aluminum polish, put it all over my sponge, right? Don't waste any. I'm gonna go up and down my tanks. Now, I'm a husband, I'm a father of two kids, and I have a lot of time to spend cleaning and detailing my truck. So I gotta find quick ways to do things. Like I've always said, as long as it looks good across the highway, that's all I really care. It's not a show truck. This thing's in the dirt pits and the mud pits every single day. So once I do that, I'm gonna take a clean microfiber, I'm gonna dip it into the cold water, and I'm gonna wipe off. To get as much of the polish off as I can. This stuff, water is just beaten right up. It's beautiful. I take my second microfiber, dip it to the cold water once again. It'll be my finish. Okay? This is how you polish your truck while washing your truck. Believe me, I can see a difference from here to here. Do the whole truck while you're washing it really quick instead of spending hours and hours and wasting time polishing not wasting time but you know what I'm saying now I'll get my chamois I'll show you what it looks like dry we'll compare all right let's keep going just put some polish on the mop up and down with the grain It's about 32 degrees right now. It's kind of freezing it just a little bit. Right? Get the first microfiber. I dipped this one into the soapy water actually. I might have messed up when I told you the first time. It doesn't really matter. It's already taken off the polish nicely. The hand is about to freeze to the microfiber though. A little cold out. Water with this one. You can do clean water for either one, really. Clean water. It takes all the polish off. Very nice. So we'll do the other side. The other part of the tank. A little bit, just a little bit. 
soapy water on it. chamois. Want to make sure your chamois is damp. It doesn't work. I like to fold it. Dry it off. Right, I just dried the tank off. This is what it looks like when I'm done. Not too bad. And it's not a buffing job. You know, it's not as good as a buffing job. But it looks good in the gravel pit. And it looks good across the highway. That's what really matters to me. See, I'm not a single dad, but I'm a working dad. And at the end of the day, I gotta get kids. I gotta go. So, I'm always looking for some quick tips on how to get, keep my truck clean, look like I care, show that I get pride in my ride. At the end of the day, after work, if I get my truck clean, I do. If not, I come in early in the morning before the kids wake up and go to, go to work a little early, and uh, I get it done. So hopefully these tips will help you out. See, I'm not a single dad, but I'm a working dad. So my wife, she takes the kids in the morning, school and all it does all that stuff I leave before everybody wakes up but when I get out of work I'm the one picking up the kids taking them to soccer to dance to karate so I gotta go and I need quick tips to get my truck ready for the next day because I don't get time to fool around I don't have time on the weekends to be polishing and buffing I come in a Sunday morning before everybody wakes up wash my truck get a quick polish job she's good to go if I get time during the week if I get back from a run and I'm early I get on it so these are the kind of tips people tell me that I want to share with you now hopefully uh, not everything I tell you is gonna work for you I'm saying what works for me don't uh, don't do everything I do just because I say, say to do it of course you wouldn't do that anyways but I'm just saying give it a try if it works for you it doesn't it's not gonna hurt your truck all right let me show you one more thing I want to see some behind-the-scenes action how these amazing videos happen <laughs> That's what I'm using for my tripod. Really, I should invest in a damn tripod, shouldn't I? I just grabs, grabbed a piece of lumber and a brick out of the pile there. I put my camera there. I'm going to film the next clip. The next clip's going to be what you do with your tires between washes. You ready? All right, let's do this. Let me put my uh, very expensive camera phone on my very expensive tripod. Hold on. All right, now I've showed you this before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. And remember, if you go back a few videos where I told you to use Pledge on your interior of your truck, then I made another video saying, don't use Pledge. Because I'm pretty sure Pledge made me sick for a while. So I'm gonna say, go back and watch my videos, but don't use Pledge on your interior. But it's great on the truck frame. For truck show. All right. So once you're done washing your truck, you get your mop and glow. No, I'm not. No, they're not a paid sponsor, but they should be. So I bet you I sold some mop and glow. Get yourself a microfiber. This one's semi-clean. Like to fold it like this. This is a poor man's tire shine. This stuff lasts. And you can wash your truck, the truck still stay clean. That's not a shiny shine. It's not like a brilliant shine, but it's a nice clean look. Also, don't get this on your rims. It's kind of hard to get off. Get the, get the microfiber soaked as so, and go around. Gotta go around a few times. 
This stuff will dry real nice. The tires look nice and black. It'll be perfect for tomorrow morning when I go into the mud pit. And they'll be a br nice brown color. But then when I wash them, they're still gonna look pretty damn good. and glow on the microfiber first time it'll adhere it'll adhere to the cloth a lot better without spillage let's go around 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 we go with the Boston trucker goes what we're gonna learn today a very exciting year ahead of me while we're talking. Going to Matt's in Louisville, March. Got the Shell Super Rigs coming up. I know where and when, but I can't tell you, it's a secret. But you're gonna know in a few days. I'm gonna touch this one up a little. And taking the family on a trip to London, England this year. Next year, going to Israel, two weeks. So yeah, I don't spend all my time at work, you know. All right, how's that look? I'll drop my phone off this tripod here. See what it looks like? That's my tripod. No wonder I go through so many phones. And of course, after you finish cleaning your truck and drying it off, always clean your glass. Can't stand dirty mirrors, spotted mirrors, spotted glass. How clean your glass is tells a lot about you, what kind of a driver you are. A lot of times I see truck drivers with filthy mirrors. I drive by them and I hold up a paper towel and hey, you need you need some of this? And how do you drive around like that? It drives me crazy. If I get any dirt on my mirror. Next time I pull over, it's getting cleaned. I just, I don't know how you live like that, right? It's crazy. It's crazy, I say. Make sure you come back for a future video where I show you how to use luminous, waterless cow wash. Wait till this thing gets a little dirty. Then we'll pull out the luminous, spray it down. I'll show you what that does. Awesome stuff. Cleans, it protects, it shines, done scratch. Oh yeah.